In this video, we'll look at how to create a mail filter in the Envoy web interface to help organize your Envoy mailbox. In my Envoy mailbox, I have created a folder called AOL Scomp, and I use a mail filter to correctly direct mail to this folder. To create this filter, I went to Options and I chose Mail Filter. Let's look at how that mail filter is configured. By double clicking on the filter I've already created, we open up the Edit Filter window, which is the same as the Create Filter window. As you can see up at the top, it asks for a filter name. In this case, I have named the filter AOL Scomp. In the upper right hand corner, it has a checkbox that allows you to turn the filter on or off, active or inactive. In the If the Following Conditions Are Met window, we tell the filter what conditions we want it to filter for. We can choose any condition or all conditions. Once we have chosen any or all conditions, we then use the drop down menus to choose those conditions. Some of the conditions we can choose are from, to, cc, subject, header name, size, date, body, attachment, and address in. In this case, we want to search for subject, as I have it set. You can also set, set it to search for contains, match exactly, does not match, does not contain, matches pattern, and does not match pattern. And in this case, we want to search against contains, because we want to search for a subject that contains the words client TOS notification, which I have entered into the text window. Say we wanted to add another condition to the filter. We would hit the plus button, which brings up an identical set, but we want to change it. So we're going to click on the first drop down bar, and we are going to select attachment, which changes the second bar. And our choices are now exists or does not exist. We're going to choose exists. Now the filter will also search to see if attachment exists in the message. In the perform the following actions section of the filter, we tell it what we want to do with messages that meet those conditions. Our choices include keep an inbox, discard, please never use discard, file into folder, tag with, mark, or forward to. In this case, we want to choose file into folder, then we click on the button that says Browse and select the folder that we want the filter to deliver messages to. And then we hit OK. We could also create a new folder. We also have the choice to tell it whether we want it to process additional filter rules or not. In this case, we do not. So we will leave Do Not Process Additional Filter Rules checked. Now let's double check our filter. This is always very important. So now we have a filter that if the following conditions are met, any condition, if the subject contains TOS client notification, or an attachment exists, will get sent to the AOL SCOMP folder. That's not very convenient because any message that has an attachment will get sent there. What I really want, if it follows all conditions, both that the subject contains client TOS notification and an attachment exists, will then be filed into the folder AOL SCOMP. Let's, so I made that change, and now I'm saving my filter. And a notice bar will show me that my filter rules have been saved, the yellow one in the tag here in the bottom corner as it disappears under the horizon. So now I have a filter, AOL Scott. If I go back to my inbox and the AOL Scott folder, you can see the result. I now have a folder that will catch every message with the subject client TOS notification that has an attachment. And as you can see, this filter has been working for some time. And I need to keep all these messages. It would be inconvenient to have them cluttering my inbox. That's just one example of the way that you can use a mail filter to organize your Envoy mailbox. Thank you for using Envoy and Amicus support video.